Mina san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And this afternoon we are reviewing the 35th anniversary um, revive edition of the gun cannon. He is handsome, and I didn't think I'd ever say that about a gun cannon. Yeah, I am um, not a big fan of the gun cannon. Uh, typically, I think it's one of the goofiest looking mobile suits in the series is. Um, but I really like this kit. It, like the RX-78 um that accompanies it, is a wonderful, wonderful build. Great gun plot great value for its price it is wonderful i'm gonna it doesn't look like red pajamas no it does not look like red pajamas it doesn't have that ugly orange thing going yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. uh it's definitely very red um i love the coloring um very vibrant very very strong here okay so um as far as accessories go the gun cannon only comes with its um beam rifle but that's Life, right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, that's all it gets. That's all it gets. It didn't. The, I, it doesn't have beam weapons because, or it doesn't have um, it doesn't have a beam saber or anything like that because it's expected for mid range fighting and it um beam beam sabers are expensive. Right. Um, it was a cost issue. He's a grunt. Yeah. Um. Or even a prototype for a grunt because right. this came pre um this is GM. GM. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's it's a nice little um weapon here. These stickers, these stickers on here do not come with the kit. The only stickers that it comes with are the 108 designators. There's um, actually three different ones. So you can do like Kai Shinden's version or you can do Hayato's version. Um, I went with Kai's version because it's the original and I think that Hayato's annoying. Um, so, okay, so anyway. But how do you really feel? You're right. So that's its accessory. That's all it gets. Uh, but that's not really the strength of the gun cannon to begin with. Um... The gun cannon is named after the fact that it has gun cannons on it. Um, and the, yeah, yeah, those cannons, they have a full 90 degree range of motion, which is nice. Very nice. Um, and they're very stable. Like, you can't move them unless you intentionally want to move them. That's cool. Um, the head actually goes all the way up. Um, so, uh, yeah, whenever it's in its laying down position, it can look straight forward. If you uh, saw their unboxing, we were very excited about the possibility that he can do his laying down pose. Oh, yeah, he can. Spoilers, he totally can. Yes, yes, he can do the laying down pose. He actually has um, flat hands for that, um, specifically for that. I did not install those. Uh, I'm using the, the fist hands that hold stuff. Um, but he can totally it's lay kind down. Of a marvel of engineering, really, to get that whole head back thing on. Yeah, yeah. The, the head is actually double jointed, which is really cool. Um, the arms are also double jointed in the way that a lot of the build fighters kits have been and some of the recent hgs so they actually go come out a bit as well as being on a ball joint um gives you a better range of motion um you can actually bring the arm right against the front mm -hmm. um, so the arms are fully articulated better than i am articulated <laughs> um that's all, what you want out of a gun though it's got to be more flexible than yeah you it also it is, it's also um double elbowed so you can bring the fist all the way up against it. Um, that's something that used to be an MG only thing, but that's been um, integrated into a lot of the recent um, HGs and the RG line. What are they going to do for the MGs to keep stepping it up as the HGs catch up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's exciting. So we have our skirts, which um, come up just like any other skirts. Um, <laughs> they are they are fused the way that almost every HG kit are. Um, you can you can separate them if you want. Um, the side skirts are like on little poly caps, um, like, as I said, a lot of the Build Fighters kits, a lot of the recent HGs. Honestly, a lot of this feels like it learned from a lot of the techniques from Build Fighters, which is kind of cool. Well, that's what the whole line is about, right? Yeah, it's experimentation and stuff. Using new technology to old builds. So, um, the back skirts prevent a little bit of leg motion. Um, they only go back a little bit. Um, they go forward pretty much all the way, and if, if you're willing to work around the skirts like that, um, he can actually kick most of the way up, mm. uh, which is kind of cool. Um, as far as side motion goes, the skirts actually do stop a little bit of side motion. It, it's not the side skirts, it's the um, back skirt. Um, mm. The back skirt's got a little lip there. But I guess if you were crazy dedicated to him doing something like that, yeah. you could shave off that piece there. Yeah, yeah, you could. It would be very easy to do. Um, if for some reason you absolutely needed to have him do the splits. Yeah, but like also the gun cannon isn't really supposed to be a very articulate piece. No. So um, this is actually probably more articulate than the actual gun cannon is supposed to be, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Um, 
So another thing that um, one of our Maybe the pilots just sucked. That's that's possible. <laughs> um, get a new type up in there. Yeah, right. Um, so what, one of the things that one of our viewers um, brought up is that he heard that the HG Revive line is supposed to be um, gated in such a way that you don't need to use nippers. Uh, it's easy to snap off the pieces. I did not check that on the RX-78 II, um, but I did check it on this uh, when I was building this. Mm -hmm. And almost every single piece is easy to snap off. Yeah. Um, there are a couple that I would say I wouldn't do. Um, but most of them are fine. Uh, most of them are easy to snap off. I use nippers for, for the majority of the pieces just because I wanted those clean edges. The only problem that I had with the, um, the way that it was gated like that is that whenever there's a bubble in the gate, it prevents you from um, really doing that because the bubble is where the, it'll snap off. So you have a real rough edge there. Um, and that can be kind of frustrating. So if you don't have or don't want to use nippers, you're just going to have to do more nail file work. Yeah, yeah. You'll probably want to use a file um, if you don't. Um, but oh, it is an option. Yes, it is absolutely an option. Um, the hips are on a rocker, like most of the, the Build Fighters kits um, recently and stuff like that. Um, so there's definitely a lot of motion there. All in all, this is just a really nice little kit. Um, it clocked in at about a thousand yen, so that's what about about eight bucks, eight fifty, something like that. Depends mm -hmm. on the exchange right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good buy. It's literally the first time I've ever really given a shit about a gun cannon. Um, I like it. If you are interested in the original lines, or if you're interested in the direction that um, HG Gunpla are going, this is a good build. It's it's fun stuff. So. Um, I would say that it's it's right up there with the RX-78 II, except, you know, the RX-78 II looks a little cooler. Well, but there you go. Matane, yeah. everyone. Matane.